Hi Taurus, so I'm going to get straight into your reading and if there's anything that you feel that you need to know about then you can find it in my descriptions box and in my pinned comments. Cross watches, you can switch the roles around, okay, because it is a general reading so the roles can be reversed. All of the information on the tarot decks that I'm using, that can also be found in my pinned comments, okay. It's Taurus Collective, please, for April. Okay, right, so you've got to the sea, being in flow, returning to source, recognising how pieces fit together, a natural pattern of events. So I get like a Pisces vibe from that card. It's all about going with the flow, rolling with the punches. Um, there's something here about uh, spiritual connections as well. Delving into your spirituality. And then TikTok, timelessness, divine timing, everything has its season. So there's a time and a place for everything, Taurus. There's a, a time to rest and there's a time to work. There's, there's a time to fight and there's a time to retreat. And I'm back. Sorry about that, Taurus. I had to pause for a sneeze. Right, so uh, with this particular combination, I am getting this really sort of spiritual vibe here from your reading, okay? Some of you are definitely delving more into your spirituality. You're, you're learning as well about divine timing for some of you. Um, and there's, it's like a, a quiet, a, excuse me, a quiet respect for there's a time and a place for everything as we've already discussed. Um, this, this is your time to rest, basically. I'm not feeling that right now is the time for you to be taking action on anything. Um, there, there's something pertaining to knowledge from behind the veil, okay? Uh, you, you need to wait just a little bit for this additional knowledge to, to come in towards you and this could come from your spirit guides, uh, your ancestors, the universe, whichever name you prefer to use, okay? It doesn't really make much of a difference because it's all part of the same thing, right? Um, you, you're waiting for, I'm feeling that this is about validation. Um, it, it's along the lines of you having a suspicion of something. Um, but you're kind of waiting for some kind of validation to back up that suspicion with. And for those of you who are really, really in touch with the spiritual side of things, um, these suspicions are coming in through your, your intuition. So th this is all about biding your time. Just biding your time, just, just waiting watching, observing without absorbing, um, definitely biding your time. Okay, so we're going to start pulling your tarot and we'll see if we can get further information on this for you. I might have to take another pause because I feel another sneeze coming on. Okay, so let's get into your tarot then, Taurus. It's Taurus Collective, please, for April. Ooh, the Knight of Coins, Virgo energy. Yeah, slow and steady wins the race, right? Um, again, with this being your energy, Taurus, you're not in any kind of rush to deal with anything right now. Um, again, the, the Knight of Coins is all about observation, thinking carefully before they make a move, um, making, making sure that they're not wa walking into a world of shit, basically. Um, it's, I want to say, I want to say risk assessment. You're currently weighing, weighing out the pros and cons here of something. The three of wands is Aries energy, specifically sun in Aries. Um, yeah, future planning, making plans for your future but being careful while doing it. It's like you, you're trying not to get too ahead of yourself here with something, Taurus. And then we've got the King of Coins. Mm, nice, Taurus energy, King of Coins. Please remember that tarot is not gender specific, okay? Uh, whether you 
identify yourself as feminine, masculine or gender fluid, it, it makes no difference, okay? It's just the energy of the cards. So the King of Coins is someone who's quite prudent. Uh, they're very, very careful with their finances. Again, not a risk taker because the King of Coins energy is all about commitment and committing themselves to something that is earthly, that is tangible, that, that is going to set themselves up for the, for the rest of their lives. Um, this is you carefully and slowly making some kind of plan about your future. Some of you might be looking at making a huge life-changing purchase as well that is a big commitment with the king of coins so this could be like a house or a car or something that's on like a long-term payment plan and you you're doing this risk assessment about whether or not it's going to be worth your time paying this thing back or is it is it just going to lose you finances because especially if it's like a car um, your car starts to lose value the second that you drive it out of the courtyard right um, so th this is what I'm looking at here Taurus you're being really prudent you're being very careful you're being um, I do want to say analytical as well. You're investigative. You're in a very investigative uh, mode. You're not in a take action mode. Definitely not with not with this combination. This is all about writing things down, taking notes, taking backups, just being <laughs> really, really stringent. the outside influences effect in Taurus please oh oh random okay ace of swords there you go that that's your air energy Gemini Libra Aquarius um analytical again so the ace of swords is all about a major breakthrough um roadblocks that were once put in your place are being removed wheel of fortune wow sagittarius energy and the high priestess moon energy mm. so yeah listen with this being an outside influence that's affecting you at this time taurus you do have spiritual backup here a hundred percent a hundred percent I'm usually really, really specific when I ask questions with the tarot, right? Really specific. I, I don't know how many of you would have noticed that. Um, the, the reason behind that is, is that I can make certain that the messages I'm getting intuitively, I, I still like to have some kind of a backup for that, um, some kind of affirmation. Um, that the messages I'm intuitively getting are the messages that are supposed to be coming out. You know, th there's nothing worse than giving out false information, right? Um, yeah, with, with this being an outside influence affecting you at this time, you've got Ace of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, High Priestess. For me, categorically, this is divine direction and protection and guidance and all the rest of it. So these two cards here, they couldn't have been more accurate if they tried for real, right? Right now, um, you, you're needing to really trust in your gut feelings about something, all right? Good, bad, indifferent, whatever. Trust in your gut instincts. Your intuition is on friggin' point here, Taurus. It's on point. You're getting, like, divine messages that are coming through for you right now. You can trust them. The Wheel of Fortune also pertains to fate, karma, destiny, things moving forward, things moving in the right direction. In this particular deck, it's a little beetle. It's a very, very Egyptian-looking card. And in ancient Egypt, the scarab beetle was a symbol for protection, I do believe. So, yeah, again, another confirmation that you're being divinely protected, Taurus. Um, if you see these roadblocks that were in your way, they were put there deliberately. You suspected as much. However, you might not have realized uh, 
who or what was putting these roadblocks in the way. And I can tell you straight up here, Taurus, these roadblocks were put in the way by you, uh, can, I, can I say guardians um, or the universe, to, to stop you from going down the wrong path, basically. Uh, it was either not the right direction for you to take or or it wasn't the right direction for you to take in that exact moment. So it's like the timing was not optimal and timing is everything in your read here, Taurus. Um, this is telling me that the time is right, right now. Okay, that the time is optimal right now. Um, there, there's something else with this Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, humble. Um, it's the card of boats, remain humble, okay? When you're at the top, keep in mind that the wheel will turn and you'll find yourself on the way back down. And when you're at the bottom and struggling, it keeps you hopeful because the wheel will turn and you'll find yourself back up at the top. The wheel of fortune. This too shall pass. What goes around comes around. Right. That's where all, the, all of those sayings come from. Everything is cyclic and the Wheel of Fortune reminds us that, that everything is cyclic. That there is literally a time and a place for everything. Um, that there will be ups, there will be downs and there, there will be struggles and there will be uh, triumphs. Um, things have to continually move. So you felt that you have been stuck for the longest time, Taurus, and you're being told here that while, yes, that was true, you never lost hope and you continued to move yourself forward as best you could. And now you're seeing evidence of this being your time, that this is the optimal time here, especially with it coming out with the Ace of Swords as well. That's breakthrough clarity as well. It's, it's genuinely amazing energies. Let's see how it come here, please, for Taurus. Oh! <laughs> Your cards are being a bit strange. Right, Ace of Wands, that's Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. Brand new project here, or a brand new passionate beginning, if this is about romance. The Three of Swords, Libra Energy, Heartbreak, Grief, Disappointment, Anxiety as well, and the Hanged One. Neptune Energy, so it's more Pisces. Okay. So the outcome here, Taurus, is I'm genuinely seeing that you're going to be leaving someone behind. You venturing out on a new adventure, whatever it might be pertaining to, okay? It could be a lifestyle, it could be a new romance, it could be a new career, all right? You have to apply it if, if you feel that it's your story to the area of your life where you feel it's more applicable, right? Again, it's a general read. Um, this is categorically, you're going to have to do the difficult thing here, Taurus, and leave someone or something behind in order for you to uh, start moving forward. And then the energy at the bottom of the deck is the Nine of Cups. More Pisces energy. Wish fulfillment, a dream come true. Uh, total contentment from the inside. Not really needing anyone's approval. Um, having faith and confidence in your own abilities. And hidden under there, King of Wands. Yeah, Leo energy. Um, taking on the challenge, whatever this is pertaining to, it's been a challenge for you. And uh, I'm sorry for the pun, but you're taking the bill by its horns. Uh, that's such a bad joke, but come on. I mean, it fits with your reading. You're grasping on um, whatever this opportunity is and you, you're not letting it go, basically. That's for Taurus, please.
The nice thing in this read as well, Taurus, is see with that um, hanged man, you're ready to adapt to change. You're ready uh, for thinking outside the box here a bit. You're ready to sort of strike out on your own with something. It's for Taurus, please. Oh. Hold your vision, fixed moon. Yeah, you are a fixed sign, right? Your positive affirmation is a chance for some self-reflection. Okay, so if there's any doubt that's um, lingering in your mind, it's okay for you to release that self-doubt. And it says, stay in power, faith or patience are needed. Someone needs to back down, avoid stagnation. A personal or professional relationship will be ending. Uh, will be enduring so it'll stand the test of time and then you've got emotions are running high super moon uh, and the positive affirmation with this card is success is close i just must trust very successful job or relationship a resolution is closer than you think don't ignore the obvious something exciting lies ahead uh, make sure that events are not being blown out of proportion Okay, so Taurus, in your outcome, we saw that you're likely to need to leave someone behind, right, in order for you to start progressing with your life. Their emotions are quite all over the place. They, they do feel very, very scattered to me. They do. It's like uh, that they might have... Now, obviously, I'm not qualified to make any kind of medical diagnosis, but their energy to me feels um, a bit bipolar. It's like one minute they have these extreme highs, the next minute they have this extreme depression. And they're, they're really, really going through a lot right now. Um, they're, they're going through the mill um, emotionally. And obviously, they, they haven't chosen that for themselves and you know I'm pretty sure that if you asked them they would rather not be going through that but it is what it is right um, I'm seeing that while you're very supportive of this particular individual you also do need to be a little bit selfish all right because at the end of it all are you really qualified to be looking after this individual? Okay, um, the the only thing that you that you need to be concerned about is pushing your own life forward. I am feeling that there's a bit of emotional blackmail here as well. With this, emotions are running high. Uh, you might succumb to emotional blackmail. Like I I, I obviously don't know who who that individual is. Um, especially if it is someone who's related to you there could be this overwhelming feeling of how you need to be responsible for them but it's like Taurus you can't be expected to take on someone else's problem um, sometimes sometimes in life in order to move ahead with our own goals sometimes that does require making really really difficult decisions okay and you have to remember as well that self-care is not selfish, right? Um, th this is your time. This is your moment. Your brand new life is waiting for you just around the corner. And can you really afford to, to lose your vision of the future because of someone else's problem, basically? I know how bad that sounds when it comes out, but... That's the reality of the situation, basically. It shouldn't be your responsibility. Your life is your responsibility. As for Taurus, please. Let go. Yeah. Let go. And that's number 19. 
Okay, so I always say that you get three messages that come with these cards. Your first message comes from the creator of the deck. Your second and most important message comes from your own intuition while you're looking at the card. And then your third message comes from your reader and their intuition, right? So it says, it's time to relinquish your need for control and let the leaves fall as they may. So someone else might be trying to control you, control the direction of your life. Um, it's it's not an easy situation. If you've drawn this card, it is time to it is time to relinquish your need for control and to release your tight grip on how you think the world and everyone in it should be. Letting go is an emotional, spiritual, physical, and mental process of releasing yourself to the universal spirit of love. It's given up your need to control the outcome of every situation and the control of the people that you hold most dear. This time can be challenging in many ways and Spirit asks for you to have faith. Have faith that the universe will guide you and send forth the outcomes that are needed for your journey. We understand that you may have been this way for a long time and this need for control stems from your youth when hurt, disorder and instability was felt. Spirit understands your need for caution, but holding on and controlling every aspect of your life is now taking its toll. Hanging on so tightly does not bring the outcomes that you desire. Instead, it serves to repel all that you cling so tight to. Your soul longs to be free and dance through the winds of change. If you deny this part of you the freedoms to play, then the universe will send the right situation or person to help unlock the free-spirited child within you. This may come at a time not suited to your plans and it may leave you feeling vulnerable and confused. It is time for you to release and let go. Letting go of your need to control will set you and others free. And it's, it's got a little affirmation here as well. It says, Great Spirit, please give me the strength to let go of all that I cling to. Divinely guide my thoughts, words and actions with love and understanding. And the chakras associated with this particular card is the solar plexus chakra. Oh, okay. Uh, two things here, Taurus. The first one being obvious, where someone else... The one that you're leaving behind, they have had a, a certain amount of control over your life for quite a while. Um, they've controlled your decision making and a lot of things that basically you should have had uh, serenity over. Okay, um, by you taking your power back, you're releasing um, their control that they have over you. But equally, there, there is this worry and anxiety that you're clinging on to because you feel so, so uncertain about your future. And it feels a lot like you might be clinging on to that uh, anxiety. So if you release your grip a little bit and allow things to play out, then you might find that you're at more of a peaceful place internally. For Taurus, please. Thank you. Purple. Okay. So you might find it beneficial to wear something purple or meditate with the color purple. Okay. It says develop mental clarity, creates a connection between your mind, body, and soul, helps to bring positivity and success. It clears your mind and releases negativity. Yeah. And purple is also the colour of, uh, intu uh, sorry, intuition and spirituality as well. So it's time for you to connect even stronger with your spirit guides by meditating with the colour purple. It's for Taurus, please. Okay. Ooh, safe and happy travel. Protection from harm when traveling. Or journeying. Why did I say traveling? Um, yeah, a lot of you are like literally. For some of you, that's about spiritual traveling. So make sure that you're protecting your energies. 
Breaking bad habits, self-acceptance, excellent mental health and letting go of vices. And Felix Felicius, power symbol to create lucky serendipitous events. Wow. Okay, and we do have initials here. We've got a uh, C, T, O, A, M, W, T, R, I, and H, and J. Hmm. So keep your eyes and ears open here, Taurus, because there's there's going to be a lucky opportunity that you can very soon take advantage of in order to start moving forward. It's like a, a really bizarre set of circumstances that works out in your favour so that you can break free. It's for Taurus, please. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting to give the uh, the warning with this deck. For those of you who are not familiar with me or the Rebel deck, then I do need to give the warning that the Rebel deck, it can be quite brutal. It gets a bit sweary and blunt as well, okay? So obviously if you're not into that sort of thing, then you might want to switch out now. Right, so your first card was Fuck Fear. It'll lie to your face, yeah. Absolutely, yes, it will. Fear is the mind killer. And in fact, what's the quote? There have been more dreams and aspirations shattered through fear than failure. Okay. Stop obsessing. You're not the fucking centre of the universe. Feeling that could be for the individual here that we saw in your outcome, that you're taking that really difficult but necessary decision to leave behind. And you need a big fucking hug. Squee. Okay, so just for a laugh, I've got the uh, old Celtic deck here. I can't remember what it's called. I think it was the, is it the Gallic? Mini Gallic Oracle deck or something. Um, it'll be in my pinned comments anyway. Again, same rules as the Rebel deck. Some of these messages can come out as a bit um, a bit edgy, especially in this day and age. It's for Taurus, please. Okay. Things may not be as they seem to be. Interesting. So again, you were waiting for some kind of validation on something, weren't you? And then he who is silent is the stronger. Mm, keep your plans close to your chest at this time, Taurus. Don't reveal this, uh, this plan or this information that you have. All right, keep, keep it as one of your aces up your sleeve, okay? Really interesting read, Taurus. I'm very intrigued. You'll have to let me know what this is because I haven't got a clue what's going on here. Uh, so yeah, that is what I have for you. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, then the link to do so is in the descriptions box and it's in the pinned comments below. Thank you so, so much for watching. Have a lovely week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.